Hi everybody, my name is Jason Lawrence and this video series is called Guide to the Home Building Galaxy. There's a lot to know about having your new home built and a lot of the things that you need to know and do are things that you're going to have to take care of and make sure are correct before the home even starts. So the build is one thing but all of the preparation and making sure everything is correct before that is just as important if not more because that's going to ensure how everything goes. I wrote a book recently called Guide to the Home Building Galaxy and what that is is it really is a guide and a, and a handbook to guide you through the entire process. Everything from how and what type of financing to get all the way through having the home completed how to choose your builder, how to compare builders, so much good information in there, including how to save money on your build. There are a lot of things that if you can make sure are accounted for in the beginning or ahead of time, can save you a lot of money while the home is being constructed. So those are just some of the things I wanna cover in this video series. And I'm gonna kinda of go over the overview of the building process. And one of the things that I that I start off with is the timing. By the way, I am an actual home builder. I'm a custom home builder in the state of Wisconsin. A lot of the the things, if I reference, I have people that ask me this or that. It's it's customers, and these are uh, you know when I when I wrote the book, it was based off of okay, these are the things that I see over and over and over again. These are the problems that happen over and over and over again. These are the questions that I get over and over again, how long realistically to be in my house from today? So including everything that we need to do in the beginning, how long is it realistically gonna be from today until the time in which I'm moving into my home? A lot of people ask the wrong question, and, and it's part of the right question, but how long does it take to build a home? And I would never just take a builder at their word for this, because any builder, any human being wants to tell another human being what they want to hear. It's, it's easier to do that, there's less resistance, and hey, let's put it quite frankly, if I'm looking to sell you a new home, I want to get you in the door. I want to tell you everything that you want to hear until it's too late for you to turn around and go somewhere else. Now, I can honestly say that that's not my method. That's not how I do things, but being in this industry, for 20 plus years, that is how a lot of people do things. And it is it is true, if, if you get somebody in the door and, and they sign and they give you a deposit, there's, there's really not a lot of recourse that they have. So you can tell them anything they wanna hear in the beginning and show them anything you wanna show them in the beginning and then at a certain point, it's just too late. And so what I'm doing here with, with this video series and with the book that I put out is I'm going to give you all the tools that you need to see when something like that is happening. Because if you are just somebody off the streets, you don't really know anything about the building process and, and a builder tells you everything that you wanna hear, including giving you a price that isn't fully accurate meaning it doesn't have everything accounted for that you're actually going to need, but you don't know that in the beginning because you don't really know a whole lot about building, so you don't know that the price that you're being given doesn't have enough in there to actually cover the entire cost of hooking up to the sewer and water laterals. Yes, there is some money built in there for that, but it's not gonna actually cover the distance that you have on your lot, and so, you don't know that that's actually not going to happen until it's way too late. You've already closed on the construction loan. And when you close on a construction loan, at that point, any additional costs that are occurred are coming out of your pocket. You can't go back to the bank and say, hey, you know, I know we got a construction loan for this amount, but now this happened, so I'm gonna need some extra money there. You know, unless that's something that, that you built into the construction loan or, the, or that the builder built into the construction loan before putting the contract together, which I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Even if you think you've got everything budgeted out to a T, throw another 10 grand in there as an allowance, meaning if it doesn't get spent or if only 5,000 of the allowance gets spent, then the additional gets refunded back to you. Now, if you got a 
whatever site improvement allowance in there and it ends up being $15,000, well then you are gonna have to pay that additional cost. But the thing that I like to do and have been doing with all of our recent builds is I will build in a line item that just says miscellaneous unforeseen site improvement allowance, X amount of dollars. And that way it's built in right off the bat. If, if we never have to use it, then that's awesome. At the end of construction, the customer gets a check back to them. Back to what I kind of mentioned few minutes ago the the timing of the build so the timing of the build is not just how long does it take from the time that we break ground until we move in you know you've got the build time from the time that the shovel hits the earth until the time that you move in again for us we're we're, we're doing a basement we're in Wisconsin yeah so when it comes to the timing of the build you know from break ground to move in on uh let's just use a 2,500 square foot ranch, for example, is, is going to be 10 months. And, and maybe it's a little bit less than that, which is great. If somebody's telling you that, yeah, you know, we'll have your house done and built in six months from putting a basement all the way until move in, I'm gonna tell you that they're probably just telling you what, what you want to hear. In addition to the 10 months, there's a lot of other things that that come into play. Somebody asks me all in all, what is the timeline from today to, to you know, to move in? I'm probably gonna say, well, you're, we're probably a year. You know, if, if we're working off of one of our blueprints, it's probably gonna be about a month from today where we are until the point in time in which we have a full set of blueprints and we've got the, the, the pricing done and your selection should all be incorporated into your pricing and, and that adds time on as well. Ideally, to know exactly what your build cost is gonna be, you should have all of your selections built into your pricing. But before the, the builder gets started, before the bank even gets started on processing the construction loan, you wanna make sure you have the price, the accurate price that includes everything. So at that point, the builder has gone out and they have gotten all of the exact numbers for the site improvements to the best of, of their ability. That you have done all of your selection. You want your pricing to reflect what's actually going to be going into your home. And we'll touch on that in, in further uh, videos because that is really one of the most important things to this process. But the, the, the timeline, getting back to the timeline of everything, you know, it's a little bit different if the home's custom compared to you're picking one of the builder's plans. If you're picking one of the builder's plans, blueprints will still have to be drawn. There may be minor modifications or things that you're doing differently. So there's still going to be a time period between, you know, choosing the plan and having a full set of blueprints. A full set of blueprints, a building contract, which should be, again, accurate pricing based off of the blueprint and the selections that are going into your home and the site improvements. Those are the two things that a bank needs in order to process the construction loan. So if you're picking a builder's plan, you're still gonna have some time to wait to get blueprints drawn up. But the thing that would be streamlined is the pricing. The builder does not have to send out the blueprint to get bids from the electrician, the carpenter, the basement wall company, HVAC company, so on and so forth, because it's, it's one of the builder's plans. So with all of our plans that we have that we offer, we have a base price for those plans. And so what we can do is we can take the base price of the home and say the customer is even making some changes. They're adding square footage, they're adding additional cabinetry, things like that. We still have the base price of the home to go off of and then we can add for those things like additional square footage, additional cabinets, upgrading this, upgrading that. But the, the pricing can, can be put together in you know a day or two as opposed to if it's a custom, Plan, one that we've never built before, I should say. Maybe the plan's coming from somewhere online. It's being designed from scratch. There's there's more of a process with that. You're gonna have a preliminary plan that you get first, and that's going to reflect, you know, kind of a basic overall layout, 
room sizes, overall square footage, just making sure everything's good there before proceeding with the full detailed set of blueprints, which is what is needed in order to get the pricing done on, on the home. So if, if somebody's coming in and they're picking one of the builder's floor plans to go off of, I would say you're gonna have, you know, at least a few weeks to wait for blueprints. In that period of time, you should be able to, to be doing selections. Uh, so you're probably gonna have, you know, if you do your selections before you finalize the building contract, you probably are gonna have, let's say, a month and a half to two months of, of you know, time between, you know, selecting the builder and, and you know, selecting the plan and then getting to the point where you've got everything ready to go to the bank. Now, once everything goes to the bank, the bank is gonna take at least 30 days to process the construction loan. So right there, you've got, you know, two months, three months, and then you've got the build time, which let's just say 10 months. So you're, you're about 13 months. You're a little bit over a year from the time that you walk into the builder, choose that builder, choose the floor plan until the time in which you're gonna be moving into the home. And yeah, oh, by the way, too, there are also, you know, building permits that need to be acquired. Some places can take up to a month to, to get a permit. And a lot of builders, including ourselves, we won't go in for the building permit until you're closed on the construction loan. Now, if it's a custom home, there's gonna be some more time added to that. We don't have a base price for this particular plan because we've never built it. So we need to actually draft this plan. Again, we're, we're gonna do a preliminary plan first just to make sure that even if it's a plan from online that says it's 2,500 square feet, once you actually have a, an architect or a draftsman draw it up, a lot of times the square footage changes. It, it goes up quite a bit. For whatever reason, the plans online, they just don't <laughs> compute to what it, what it is when it's actually drawn up you know, by an architect or a draftsman, including all the interior walls and everything like that. It usually ends up growing in, in size. So that's why we can't just say, okay, you know, it's 2,500 square feet, we'll, we'll you know, base the price off of that. We, we need to actually get the plan drawn up. So we do that preliminary plan just to make sure that the square footage is the same or similar as to what it shows online. If, if we've got 2,500 square feet that the online plan shows, and then when we draw it up, we're at 3,000 square feet, well, that's why we do the preliminary plan. We might need to put the brakes on a little bit because there's gonna be a big difference in price between a 2,500 square foot home and a 3,000 square foot home. We do that preliminary plan, again, just to make sure that everything's good. Room sizes are what we are expecting. The overall square footage is what we are expecting. Now we can move forward with the full set of detailed blueprints. Now, you know, another couple of weeks goes by, we, we get the, the, the full set of detailed blueprints. Now we are ready to send those out at framing numbers and lumber numbers and window numbers. But while those blueprints are being drawn and while the builder is, is having your home bid out, that is the time to do selection. But all in all, I mean, it, it could be two months between the time that, and even more, depending on how custom, how complex the home is, but it could be two to even three months for blueprints. And I've seen, I've seen a year, you know, like it just goes back and forth that, cause every time it goes back to the draftsman or architect, it takes them a month to send something back. And then people are busy. It takes them a month to get their notes together and go back to, I mean, you can very easily turn that into a year long process. You know, if you know exactly what you want, if you've got the, the plan that's coming from online, then, you know, that, that should be streamlined a little bit. And then again, the builder's gonna, gonna need time. They've never built this home. They don't have a base price. They're gonna need at least, you know, for us, it's at least a month to get all the numbers. Now, while we're getting all those numbers, I touched on it before, do selections. Like there's things you, you can be doing. You can, once you've got the plans, you can go pick cabinets and countertops and things like that. So when the build is, you know, putting the bids and the prices together, they're not just guesstimating on 
what the cabinets are going to be and you know putting in an allowance or just some type of amount for that it's actually going to be based off of what you have gone and picked so ideally everything comes together you know the builder is is done and they have all of their numbers you've done all of your selections so the builder's taking in account for your selections and incorporating that into the budget so let's just say a month to three months there with blueprints another month for bidding it out you know doing selections in that meantime so you've got you know two to two to four months there and then you've got again the build time which is you know we're going to say 10 months for that 2500 square foot home so now you are you know 13 to, to 15 months from today kind of sum it all up I really don't feel like you can go in to a builder or at least start this process and, and realistically think that, you know, you're going to be in the house in, in less than a year. And, and there are circumstances where, yeah, you know, you go to a certain builder where you can pick a few floor plans. The, the homes are built in a relatively quick amount of time because it, those are the only plans that they offer or you know, they're, they're panelized or there's some other circumstances that allow for that. But typically with most builds, especially if it's some type of a custom, semi-custom or anything that's just not manufactured, I would say you're looking at at least a year, you know, to budget a year from the time in which you go in there, pick the builder, pick the plan, then, then you're gonna have a year before you actually move into the home with more custom homes. Let's just, you know, just budget yourself a year and a half. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for this video. In future videos, we are gonna cover all kinds of stuff. We're gonna cover selections. We're gonna cover site improvements. We're gonna cover the entire building process. So once all of the beginning stuff gets taken care of and the home is under construction, we're gonna cover what happens from excavation to gas and electric services being ordered to framing to concrete to plumbing. So we're gonna go over all of that stuff. I've got a lot of uh, things to cover, so it's probably going to be in a in a series of maybe even it's it's ten you know ten videos that that we're doing here. But again, this is all part of the uh, the the book that I put together. Which uh, as soon as that's done and everything's available, I will I will put a link in the video so that you can purchase that. It's an ebook, so it's very inexpensive, and it's going to save you a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of stress and help you choose the right builder and have a good building experience. So how can you go wrong? If you pay five, six bucks for that book, it's definitely gonna pay for itself a thousand times plus over. So that's all I've got for this video. I really appreciate your time and watching. Let me know if you have any questions. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please do so to see more videos like this. Give this one a thumbs up if you thought that it could help or it had good information. I'll see you in the future. Take care and God bless.